Hey everybody, Blue here. So, um, trying to make this a short video. You know, all good things gotta come to an end sooner or later. So I tried my best and I did what I could and I know everybody else tried and did what they could. But, you know, some things just aren't meant to last. They have to come to an end sooner or later. So, I want to thank everybody for watching, and um, you know, summer's over and there's nothing we can do about it, so time to do fall and winter bushcrafting. So yeah, and um, with the end of summer, in my area they always have closeout deals, and that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, and um, just it's kind of a bushcraft quick tip. And not any of this, you know, this can apply to just life in general and doesn't always have to be about bushcraft. You can use it in your everyday life to save extra money. So, I found some stuff. Um, rice a or it's pasta -roni. So I found these olive oil and Italian herb for 50 cents a piece. So you take, I don't think it's in a bag, it's just in the box, but you dump this into a bag Take it out on the trail with you, boil water in your bush pot, throw that in. Now if you got a pasta meal, add meat to it, add chicken, whatever you need to, you know. Also found these cliff bars, 64 cents a piece. Throw them in your haversack, day pack, whatever it is. Now you got a little meal, you know, a little pick me up, carbs, all the stuff you need to get through the day. If you're out doing a day hike, got those as a back emergency backup. Got these little RX nut butters. So I think I found these in clearance. They're like 64 cents a piece. I think they're a regular $1.50 or $2. I know the Cliff Bars are usually two to three bucks. I got them for like 64 cents also. Um, something else I found, two person hammock. Okay, I found it for $8.75. I couldn't pass it up. I did make a mistake. I seen a tent at this place for a two-person tent for $7.50. I should have grabbed it, but I didn't kick it myself now. So that's why I'm making this video. Learn from my mistake. You see a deal like that, hey, I've already got three tents. Okay, take another tent. Make a gift for somebody. Give it to somebody that wants to get into bushcraft, but not ready to sleep under a tent or just under the stars. So hammock, two-person hammock. I plan on doing hammock camping with the family. We only have two hammocks. There's three of us. Now we've got the third hammock. So, something else I found are these Bridgeford um, ready to eat sandwiches. So, I got, I think I got six packs total, and there's two sandwiches in each. This one's a barbecue, and this is a uh, barbecue wrap. Dollar seventy-five each. So I've got a pack meal that I can take with me, or even two snacks. Throw with my pack. They actually come in. Um, I don't know if you can see it, like the brown MRE packaging. So I can take them out of the, the, the primary wrapping that they're in. Throw those in my pack. Now I've got a complete meal for a dollar seventy-five. And you know, it was ready to eat. I can heat it up. Or I can eat it on the go as it is, you know, just like with the Cliff Bar and the nut butter. So, the thing that really made me happy when I came across the clearance section, Kit Steaks. I got five here. I think that's all they had because I bought them all up. Okay. These are usually a dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars, even up to three dollars, depending on what range you get or what style you get. 32 cents a piece. So for usually the price of a cheap metal one at the uh, big box stores, I got three for a dollar. And I only had five left, so I grabbed them all up. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is find out what your clearance looks like at your stores, find out where they keep the stuff. All the stores around me, I've located where they take the clearance when it's on clearance, move it to that location. Every time I'm in there, I just go over and check. And the day I went in there and checked, I was able to find the tent or the hammock and the tent stakes and then went in another day found the food. 
So if you're getting uh, started into bushcraft, this is a great way to get started, especially at the end of the summer season. And then when fall and winter end, you know, summer comes back around, the winter stuff will go on sale. So I don't like to pay full price for any of my equipment. So if I can get it on sale and get it cheap, that's what I do. Hey, that was just a quick bush tip from me. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Follow me along. Uh, hopefully I can teach you guys something. Uh, leave a comment. Just comment. Say, hey, whatever. I'll respond to you. And uh, remember, enjoy the outside. Thanks for watching.